Hello everyone, my name is Kiran Katam and my friend B Pranav. We are from Ace Engineering College, 4th year ECE. We did a mini project on wireless gesture control robot under the guidance of P. Kiran Kumar sir. Hey, yes, to the interaction, here the motor speed can be controlled in real time opening or closing the hand. Here the sensor records the movement of a hand uh, where the hand tails in the specific direction the, our robot is moving. Here the wireless communication enables the user in an interaction way that the more eco-friendly. Here, when we are tilting a hand in a forward direction, our robot is moving in a forward direction. Here, we, as we are tilting our hand in left or right, as we instruct it to a robot, as we tilt, the, our robot is moving. Here is the proposal system. Here a mobile, uh, here a mobile robot which is controlled by the Gesha made in our hand, which is a Gesha control robot, which is uh, ac uh, made up of accelerometer sensor MPU6050 and uh, Arduino Uno and a motor driver called to a L298N and a main parts, as in the main parts. When a robot is powered on, when the, the accelerometer sen uh, sensor which gives a raw data to an, an Arduino and which is transmitted to the Arduino Uno. Here, here is Gesher is an important aspect in the human interface. Here the both the in interaction and the interface between the human and the robot is done in the Gesher. Here the Gesher movement of includes hand, face, etc. Gesher makes simple things. Here is the framework. Framework in the transmitter side. Here in the transmitter as an accelerometer sensor which transmits a raw data to an Arduino Nano, which Arduino Nano converts again a data and transmitter to a Bluetooth module. Here the accelerometer gets and uh, calculates the x y z direction of the plane of a hand, hand tilting and it's transmitted. And the flow chart here in the flow chart when we start our connection induce parameters in the libraries in the Arduino by default and where the raw data is sensed by the accelerometer sensor and it's converted the not, uh, raw data in a normalized data and here the Arduino Nano is done and the data is transmitted where here is the basic block diagram of a transmitter here it is an accelerometer sensor Arduino Nano and a power supply nano battery and the Bluetooth module here in the framework on the receiver side here the receiver side and the Bluetooth mo mo module is placed as a receiver part and the receive it Bluetooth module will receive the data and sends to the Arduino. And here the loop will be running in an Arduino by default. If our if statements matches our data, means the accelerometer which senses the data here in the loop which matches and the motor driver is driven uh, in a front or back direction as we data received. Here is a flow chart of a receiver part. Here when we start our project and the data received from the Bluetooth module. If the data is D1, our robot is moving in the forward direction. If the data is D2 or D3, according to the data, our project is moving left or a right. When the data is D4, it's moving in the backward direction. Here, here are the a basic the block diagram of a receiver part. Here the power supply is given to the Arduino. Here the Arduino is receiving data from the Bluetooth module. According to the data, when our uh, loop is matching to uh, receiving data like D1 or D2 or D3 or D4 and the motor dri uh, dri uh, driver is blown our motor in a specific required direction. From here onwards, my friend Kiran will be continuing the remaining part of our project. From block diagram, we can see we have transmitter which transmits the data and receiver will receive it. The received data will directly send into the Arduino. In Arduino, we will run the if statement. If, stat if the, the if the signal satisfies the if statement, it will direct the motors to run in the specified statement or it will show output as low. Advantages. This is user friendly and single device multiple use. This can be used in military and defense technologies. Now let us conclude our topic. This technology advances computing and computing and sensor activities. This makes our lives easy and more natural to the robots. This makes robot usage easy and user friendly. Thank you. Thank you Kiran sir for guiding this project. Thank you HOD sir for giving a great support and opportunity.